morning, children. Good morning. God's blessings to you again. May the Lord just reveal stuff today to you and so that you can learn something new again. It's a wonderful day that the Lord has made. Today I chose a lesson to talk to you about who are we in God's eyes? Because we are not, God doesn't change. No matter what happens in our life, God does not change. God does not change no matter what life throws at us. We know that we live in a sinful world where things can go really wrong, right? Things can happen. But God still doesn't change no matter what, change, what changes in our life, right? I brought something today with me. Who can tell me what this is? Um, so, Mom. 100 bucks. 100 bucks, that's right. This is 100 bucks. What does this look like now? Garbage. Garbage. That's right. Now it looks like garbage. Let's see. Is it is it garbage? What does it look like now? Afia. Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. See, just because I crumpled it up, I stepped on it, it did not lose its value, did it? No. Exactly, it did not lose its value just because I crumpled it and stumped on it. And that is exactly what happens in our life. God created us wonderful, wonderful. He loves us and his love about us never changed no matter what life throws at us. You see, in um, Joey, could you read Psalm 139, verse 13 through 18? Yeah. Just do it loud and clear. Um, you made all the delicate inner parts and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous, how well I know it. You watch me as I begin form in the outer seclusion, as I was woven together in the darkness of the womb. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in the book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. How precious are the thoughts about me, oh God. They cannot be numbered. I can't even count them. They are outnumbered, the grains of the sand. And when I wake up, you are still with me. Do you hear that? God created each and one of us wonderful. We are precious in his sight. He created us amazingly in our mother's womb. But you see, sometimes life happens. Sometimes, you know, as we grow older, um, I don't know how much you have experienced it, but I did. You know, I grew up and in, in school, I was bullied like crazy. I was very badly bullied. You see, every time someone says something to you that you're actually not, you get crumbled. Someone says again something that you're completely not, something very hurtful, like, I know I was told a lot, you will no, get nowhere. You're just a nobody, you're not smart. You know what, especially in school, you know what, you're just a dumb kid from a dumb family, that is who you are. I got crumpled so many times. I got stepped on. Somebody, every time somebody said something, I felt like somebody was stepping on me. Somebody said something bad again, they stepped on me. And eventually, I look like garbage. If people constantly speak garbage over you, eventually you look like garbage because you start to believe the lies. You start to believe what the enemy says. We have to understand, we are not fighting people. The Bible says we're not fighting flesh and blood, but we're fighting principalities of the darkness. We're fighting devils in our lives. And if people say something very hurtful to you, if they bully you in school, or you are with friends and, and simply they just don't like you, they just don't want you there. It is not the people that are hurting you. It's the enemy through the people. The devil has come to kill, steal, and destroy. 
See, he wants to steal your identity when that happens. He wants to steal who you are in God. God says he made you wonderful. He made you so beautiful and he knows every hair on your head. Your hair on your head are numbered. He made you so wonderful. But then the devil comes and he uses other people to speak over your life and tell you all these mean things. We should never listen to those lies, but sometimes that happens. We start to believe it and we start to feel like garbage. We start to look like garbage. And we go to school and we have no friends. And I, I don't know about you, but when we became believers, when we started to believe God's word, when we started to believe what God says about us, that we were wonderful, when I no longer believed that I was garbage, when I started to believe that I was a child of God, chosen by God, blessed by God. You see, in Luke 1, 45, it talks about how blessed we are. There are many, many, many Bible verses. But it talks about that we are blessed. And then we have John 15, 16. You are healed. By his stripes, we are healed. And then we have 1 Peter 2, 24. Well, 1 Peter 2, 24 talks about we are healed. John 15, 16, sorry, I got that mixed up. It's talking about you are chosen. We are chosen by God. We are loved by God. We are blessed by God. We are healed by God. When we started to believe the truth and nothing but the truth, when we started to believe what God says about us, that is where people really start to hate us. And I bet that someone in here is in here that would say it really hurt it when I lost my best friend it really hurt it when I lost grandma and grandpa maybe I know when we started to believe in the truth we lost so many people in our lives they all started to walk out they all started to hate us because they didn't believe what God actually says about them they are still in bondage they're still in this garbage they still believe the garbage that the devil tells them who they are that they are unworthy, that they have to work hard to get to heaven. But when we started to believe, they walked out because they didn't understand us anymore. They didn't like us anymore because they were still deaf. They couldn't grasp the fact that God loved them so much. Well, you see, now that we believe the truth that God sent his only son for us to die and that he loves us from the bottom of our hearts, just because people hate us, just because people walk out of our lives and they talk behind our backs and say very, very mean stuff sometimes about us, does not change who God says who we are. Just because we are being trampled on, left alone, walked out of, being stepped on in school or wherever, it doesn't mean that our value in God has changed. God never changed his mind about us. If people say, I hate you, God says, I love you. No, no. If people say, you are cursed, God says, absolutely not, you are blessed. I have called you. I have chosen you. I've created you wonderful in your mother's womb. Let's always remember in our life that no matter what life throws at us, no matter what happens in our life, God doesn't change his mind about us. He doesn't. Let's stop believing the lies. I hope as you go on in your life and in your future and things happen where stuff may become your way that, that shouldn't be there, but it does happen. And you know what? One thing I want to tell you, I'm not here to scare you to walk further in the path of Jesus, but I am here to tell you the truth, children. Life is not easy. Walking with Jesus is absolutely not easy. He never promised us that it would be easy. Let's stop sitting in a corner and playing pity parties. Oh, this person hurted me. This person said he didn't like me. Jesus never said everyone would like you. Jesus never said it would be easy. He says my burdens are light. Yes, they are light. You know what? When we came to the Lord and we believe in his promises, so many things became amazing in our life. I received healing. We received blessing. You know why we received all that? Because we simply started to believe the truth what God's word was saying. We simply believed it and that is where we were able to receive 
As soon as we believe it, we're able to receive. So yes, my life became very, very, very easy because I was relying now on the Lord and I was trusting Him. And He helps me get through my battles that I'm facing. But persecution will come our way. We have to understand that Jesus said it Himself. They persecuted me and they will persecute you. So let's stop believing the lies. Even though people persecute us and they say mean things about us, let's not believe it. Let's simply not believe it. Because that is not what God said. Who That's not God's plan for us. Joey, could you read Jeremiah 29, 11 for us? For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Do you see? God's word says that he has plans for us, a future for us, to prosper us. His plan is never to destroy us. You know, sometimes when very harsh time comes, it's very easy for our mind, for our flesh to say, God, why did you let this happen? God, why? Just, just God, why? And we, we kind of feel angry inside, like, God, why? Why does everybody just simply hate me? Let's remember it is absolutely not the Lord. It is the enemy that tries to destroy you. God's plan is for us to prosper us, to give us future and hope. Let's stop believing the lies that the enemy throws at us. He's throwing all that at us. But it is our decision to bite into it, believe what the devil says, or to believe what God says who we are. I hope that as you go on in your Christian walk with Christ, that you will stop believing the lies and you will believe that you are beautiful. You will believe that you are blessed. You will believe that you are wonderful made in God's image. Just because these terrible things come our way, it does not change who God says we are. Sometimes when so many bad things come our way, we, we literally start to believe this is what God thinks who I am. God thinks that I'm just unworthy. God thinks that, that I'm no good. No, no matter how many times we've been crumpled up, stepped on, that doesn't change who God says who we are. That does not change. God never changes mind about you. Focus on God. Believe in the truth what God has for you. And don't be believe the lies in your life. You see, it's so easy to play pity party when someone hates us. We sit in the corner and we cry, and I know it hurts. Jesus never said it, that it wouldn't hurt. But then we need to trust, trust in him that he will help us. And you know what, you know what Paul did? He, he was persecuted so much and so many times. But you know what, children? He didn't play petty party. He was in jail, and he was singing. He was praising the Lord. You see, here in the... Um, 1 Peter 3.14, it says, But even if you suffer for doing what is right, God will reward you for it. Jesus will reward you. He will reward you for, for standing up for what is right. And just because someone doesn't like the fact that you love Jesus, doesn't mean that we stop believing in Jesus. Absolutely doesn't mean we, we stop believing in Jesus. It, do, it doesn't mean that. No, absolutely not. We still believe. We still follow. And you know what? Paul, and, and when he was in jail, they rejoiced. They sang songs to the Lord. They praised him that they were worthy, worthy to be persecuted for his name's sake. We should be happy when we get persecuted because we know we're on the right track. The devil tries to get us down when we're in the right track. Why would the devil try to get us if, if we were on his path? We have no need for it. But now that we walk with Jesus and we do what is right, he comes and tries to destroy us. And then we should just stop focusing on the lies, stop focusing on what people say, but focus on Jesus. We just simply look up to Jesus, we praise him for who he is, and we adore him for who he is. And we just ask him, God, give me strength to walk through the valley, through the shadow of death. You know, that's what the Psalms, you know, where David is talking about, that God goes with him. He says, you're even with me in the shadows of death. 
Even when we go through trials and struggles, Jesus is always with us. He never leaves us. He never forsakes us. He is simply always with us. And God never changes his mind no matter what life throws at us. Let's always remember, God doesn't change his mind. Don't let your brain get to you and say, oh, because everyone hates me, because everyone talks behind my back. I mean, not everyone, but sometimes so many people do that it feels like the whole world is just against you. That doesn't change who you are in God. Let's focus on the Lord, believe in what the Lord says, and stop believing the lies that the enemy throws at us. And you will be blessed in Jesus' name.